The city rested in the quiet embrace of dawn, the first rays of light piercing the night to awaken its possibilities. Somewhere within the sprawling urban jungle, nestled in an innovation hub, a team was preparing to step into a transformation that would redefine not only their roles but their very essence. This wasn't merely about change, it was a metamorphosis, a journey from potential to realization. Ada Chen had always believed in the power of collective imagination. The team she led was no ordinary group of professionals, they were dreamers, thinkers, and innovators. Together, they inhabited a space where boundaries blurred and technology became an extension of human will. The Innovation Hub, with its shimmering holographic displays and rivers of flowing data, reflected the dynamic energy of its occupants. It wasn't just a workplace, it was a living organism, pulsating with ideas waiting to be born. As morning light filtered through the smart glass windows, the hub came alive. Air systems hummed softly, interactive surfaces sprang into action, and the air buzzed with anticipation. Each member of Ada's team arrived with a sense of purpose that had grown exponentially over the past weeks. Sarah, Marcus, Elena, and Michael, each brought a unique energy to the space, a piece of the intricate puzzle, that was their collective potential. The transformation didn't happen overnight. It began with a challenge, one that tested their capabilities and demanded an evolution. The briefing that morning was unlike any other. As the team gathered around a three-dimensional projection of swirling global data, the weight of their mission became apparent. Threats loomed in shades of crimson, while opportunities glimmered in golden hues. It wasn't just about solving problems, it was about discovering new possibilities in the chaos. Weeks earlier, MIT's groundbreaking research had unveiled something extraordinary, when humans collaborate with AI, they transcend their original limitations. This idea resonated deeply with Ada. She had seen her team's capabilities grow, their intuition sharpen, and their connections deepen. But today, they would have to push even further. The innovation hub became a symphony of movement and sound. Holographic displays floated like jellyfish, luminescent streams of data weaving through the air. Sarah dove into complex analyzes with surgical precision, while Marcus's keen eye spotted patterns others might miss. Elena's predictive models illuminated potential outcomes, and Michael's strategic insights translated those possibilities into actionable plans. Together, they formed a seamless unit, their efforts synchronized like the gears of a finely tuned machine. As they worked, the team experienced something rare and profound, a flow state. Ideas sparked and connected with the fluidity of neural synapses. Solutions emerged not from individual effort but from collective intelligence. Stanford researchers had a term for this phenomenon, collective cognitive elevation. The team wasn't just solving problems, they were redefining what was possible. The challenge before them wasn't just technical, it was existential. A sudden global crisis had thrown markets into turmoil, and competitors were floundering. Yet within the chaos lay an opportunity so intricate and hidden it might as well have been invisible. Ada's team, however, was prepared. Their weeks of honing human-air collaboration had built a foundation of resilience and adaptability. As the crisis unfolded, the hub became a hive of activity. Air systems processed data at lightning speed, highlighting patterns and correlations that would have taken humans hours to uncover. Meanwhile, the team moved with a sense of purpose that bordered on instinctive. There was no hesitation, no second guessing. Every action was precise, every decision deliberate. What unfolded next was nothing short of a symphony. The interplay between human intuition and artificial intelligence reached a crescendo, producing solutions that were as elegant as they were effective. Multiple streams of data converged, their insights crystallizing into a strategy that was both bold and innovative. 
The team's response not only stabilized the situation but turned it into an advantage. And then, just as quickly as the crisis had begun, it was over. The markets responded positively, competitors were left scrambling, and Ada's team stood triumphant. But the victory wasn't just in the results, it was in the journey. The transformation they had undergone was evident not only in their output but in their interactions. The once disparate group had become something greater than the sum of its parts. The true magic of their transformation lay in the human connections that had been forged and strengthened along the way. Spontaneous brainstorming sessions gave birth to groundbreaking ideas. Mentoring moments fostered growth and mutual respect. Celebrations of individual breakthroughs created an environment where success was shared, not hoarded. Michigan State's research had predicted this phenomenon, when teams master human air collaboration, they don't just work better, they connect more deeply. As the team reflected on their journey, it was clear that each member had undergone their own personal evolution. Sarah's initial skepticism had transformed into a wellspring of wisdom. Marcus, once hesitant, now acted with decisive confidence. Elena had overcome her analysis paralysis, wielding insight like a master artisan. And Michael, who had often kept to himself, emerged as a leader who inspired trust and unity. The Innovation Hub, too, had evolved. It was no longer just a space for work, it had become a crucible of transformation. Morning meetings now unfolded in augmented reality, strategy sessions took place in multidimensional spaces, and innovation emerged not in bursts but as a continuous flow. The team's collective intelligence had reached a point where success felt systematic, almost inevitable. By midday, Dr. Legacy, the visionary behind the hub's design, called the team together. Holographic projections of their achievements hovered around them, a testament to their progress. But it wasn't the metrics or accolades that mattered most. Look how far you've come, Dr. Legacy said, but more importantly, look at who you've become. The day's work continued, but there was a new sense of purpose in the air. The team wasn't just solving immediate challenges, they were preparing for the future. New generation problems awaited, and with them, new opportunities for innovation. The transformation they had undergone was not a one-time event but an ongoing journey. As the sun began to set, casting the city in hues of gold and crimson, the team gathered for a moment of quiet reflection. They stood together, watching as the lights of innovation hubs across the city began to twinkle like stars. Each point of light represented a beacon of possibility, a chrysalis waiting to unfurl its potential. For Ada's team, the journey was far from over. They had found their wings, but the vast horizon of the future beckoned them forward. As the final light of day faded, the innovation hub remained aglow, a testament to the power of transformation. This was evolution in action, beautiful, profound, and limitless. The team's metamorphosis wasn't just a story of success, it was a blueprint for what human potential could achieve when paired with the boundless capabilities of artificial intelligence. And for Ada and her team, the real journey was only just beginning.